a very good morning. Welcome back to the first Research Day celebration that aims Jodhpur. It's my proud privilege to be here to introduce Professor Sanjeev Mishra, in whose name this first oration is and will be delivered. Actually, uh, it's a very cliched line that someone needs no introduction. And honestly, Professor Mishra actually needs no introduction. Each and everybody here, the faculty, the staff, the support staff, everybody who is associated with AIMS Jodhpur, and also the population, the people of Jodhpur, officers, administrators, and everybody, they know him only too well. The founder, director of this esteemed institution, who is currently the vice chancellor of the Atal Bihari Bajpayee Medical University, UP, a human task and a tremendous responsibility. He was the founder director here, and everything that you see in this lovely campus, not just the physical attributes, but also the collective competent good that is happening, can be blamed onto him. So, he served as a visiting professor at the renowned institutions worldwide and received honorary titles like FRCS in England, honorary fellowship of the British Association of Surgical Oncology, a renowned oncologist, surgical oncologist himself. He is very, very well known on the firmament of surgical oncology. In 2020, he was awarded DSC Honoris Causa by the Hembati Nandan Bahugana Uttarakhand Medical University. And his extensive publication record includes over 230 papers and 30 chapters in international and national journals and books. And he has been recognized as a top 2% researcher globally by the Stanford University. That is a huge achievement. A doctor with a healing touch, professional excellence, and exceptional administrative and academic leadership, he happens to be one of the most soft-spoken and humble human beings that I have come across, and it has added a lot of pleasure to my life. An outstanding quality that makes him a you know, revered role model in the, not just the medical community, but far beyond. With these words, I will now hand over the mic Dr. Madhavanandakar. Good morning. Back to first oration of the morning for our first research day celebration. I will invite first oration giving Professor Narendra Kumar Arora. He is a father figure in this medical field. Now, currently working as the executive director in Clean Trust International. He was the professor head pediatric surgery, the pediatrics in the All India Institute of Medical Science. He is the currently president at AIMS Devgood. Before that, he was president of AIMS partner and in my previous currently holding that AIMS Darbhanga also. A lot of guidance for me personally from him. He is the chairperson of operational research group and national task force for COVID-19 ICMR New Delhi. Chairperson scientific advisory group, national biotechnology, BIREC, government of India. Chairpersons NTIG working group, COVID-19 vaccine. He was instrumental in that putting the uh, COVID vaccination item in India. Uh, the advisor to WHO also in COVID-19 vaccination. And many more, all the task forces, policies taken by the uh, Indian government. He is the man behind that. Chairperson of the NCCP Secretary Government of India and heads National Verification Committee of Mijils Rubella Eradication Program in India. To discuss about the publication, this is small things for uh, him. <laughs> published over 200 peer reviewed scientific publications, authored more than 40 books. This, this is a rightly first oration given, to, given by 
Professor Narendra Kumar Arora, NK Arora, who is it? Good morning, friends. Uh, I'm really honored to be in Ames Jodhpur and uh, being associated with uh, Ames faculty family directly for over uh, 55 years, 54 years now. Uh, I graduated from Ames, New Delhi, and I was from 71 batch and I'm so uh, I would say blessed that uh, uh, I was uh, entrusted with the responsibility of being the president for Ames Patna which is also in the phase one where Jodhpur also was uh, commissioned in 2012 and Ames Patna and now currently this newly uh, upcoming Ames in Deoghar, Jharkhand. I am particularly honored that uh, I am the, I have been bestowed with the first oration in the name of Professor Sanjeev Mishra. I corrected myself when I was hearing Professor Arvind Mathur. Sanjeev is a very dear friend for a long time and personally known and I have seen how he negotiated a new institution to among the topmost medical institution in the country over a short period. And uh, as I understood and I was talking to various faculty members during the tea break and some during the last evening dinner, that research has been a very important driver of taking this institution to the level where it has uh, reached today. So thank you very much, uh, Madhav, for uh, inviting me to deliver this oration. I will try to share some of my own experiences and some of the literature and also a research study which we did across the country on the factors which decide health research leaders in this country. I am sure all of us know P.C. Roy who was uh, a physician but also a politician. I mean, it's uh, a very rare combination, and he achieved distinction in both. And uh, he made this statement that if we exert ourselves with determination, no obstacle, however formidable, can stop our progress. I started with this quote because in a low and middle income country, resource constraint environment, undertaking research in a serious manner and an impactful manner, it's not an easy task. But I think the determination and grit makes all the difference. All of us are also aware of Vikram Sarabhai. And today we are being uh, compared or we are put at par with NASA. And credit goes to this man and who said, to us, there is no ambiguity of purpose. We must be second to none in the application of advanced technology to the real problems of man and society. 
So again, I think the single-minded focus, when we take up a, a, a kind of a vow that we have to move in this direction, nobody can stop us. Many of us who are, have been associated with uh, V. Ramalinga Swami, he was uh, the second director of AIMS New Delhi. And he was credited with spotting and supporting a generation of future health leaders in the country. Many of us are the products of that period. In 70s, 80s, uh, he was around. He later on became the DG of uh, ICMR. And uh, he had this knack and uh, how a young faculty member or a young student is nurtured Again, you find that human dimension is very important when we want to achieve new milestones and new heights. So coming to the, uh, to the, to the whole domain of what uh, uh, brings me here is that this research leadership, the context is very important because Many times we feel that research can in America or Europe. This kind of statements are made, which is not correct. I think we should debunk this uh, uh, expressions now. There is a difference between developing versus developed countries. There are various dimensions, social, cultural, resource constraints, but I think that's the beauty that within that constraint, if you are able to do something, it is uh, marvelous. And in fact, today we are showing the world path that within the constraints, how we can lead the world. And therefore, context is important where we are doing and what we are doing. Now, why is research important? So, I think I will not go through the various dimensions, but it is most important that research is critical for improving patient outcomes and quality of health care. What works, what doesn't work, why it works. And then the other important thing is that in the real world, how things are operating. We have, must have heard the words of efficacy, effectiveness, but that final word is in the real situa situation how things work. A lot of us in the audience are clinicians, but I'm sure the basic scientists, we know that in a petri dish or in a, a randomized clinical trial, things work in a different manner as compared to what when actually you start doing it on a larger scale. Equally important is, it was mentioned in the morning by Madhav, that we it aims are talking about trinity of uh, uh, of, of uh, our vision education clinical care and research and mind you the institutions which provide the best which do the best research also provide the best medical education so it is intimately so it i cannot separate out research from education it if i have good research teams I am building skills, I am building capacity, but even when I am teaching somebody else, I am better equipped because many of the things which are not written between the lines, when we do research, it starts working. Uh, I do not know what is, what is it? No. Okay. Now, the other issue is that when the research is used for local and national government-led public health interventions, that means when it starts influencing the policies and programs where we are working, either at state level, national level, international level, I think it brings great visibility and respect for the institution and the individuals who do this kind of research. So translation of research is equally important. 
and this is also important if I want my institution to be recognized. I heard about NIRF ranking and all those things. You, you will find that it just you you skyrocket to the rankings, whether it is national or international. Once good research is there and it is linked with good education and then good policy tracking. And the other is that when our names become good, we get national and international recognition, we start attracting the best of faculty and the best of the students. I know that AIMS Jodhpur now is number two ranking in terms of those who opt for uh, MBBS students. It is again that credibility which has come through. And the other issue is, in the morning we were having tea and we suddenly found that I Ames New Delhi, you Ames New Delhi. So this networking of alumni network, this is also important in today's life. Why do people spend so much uh, effort and money to go into Harvard Business School or Stanford Business School or uh, Kellogg's. The reason is not only education, it is the alumni network, people are located all over and it helps to uh, get things more uh, easily. Now, there are challenges for research in India and uh, conducting research requires a great deal more than just technical expertise. I am very good, 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 no. A supportive, research supporting ecosystem is very important. Whether it is funding, infrastructure, critical mass of expertise, knowing how to do research, and a research friendly ecosystem at institution level, I will go into greater depth on this issue in subsequent slides. The second issue is very important and we have been talking about it recently and that is a balance between a very healthy and a, a, a contextually appropriate balance between basic science, clinical science and then public health science. The, there has to be a balance. Unless we are doing good basic science, good clinical medicine will not come up. And good clinical science, if it is not done properly, the public health application will also be missing. And the four whole issue is societal betterment. And this, this, this balance is so critical. And particularly I have seen firsthand during COVID that investments were made for research and development in development of new vaccines. I'm sure all of us must be aware in this room that today India has eight vaccine manufacturing platforms. We are among the foremost, probably the only country in the world which has so many vaccine manufacturing platforms. We were a, a, a contract manufacturer of vaccine for practical purposes before 2019. And today we are at the cutting edge of R&D. And this has come because of the basic science, the investments made and the push given during that time. Third component is the current evaluation system. In our institutions, we say number of papers, which is not correct. It has to be linked to real world impact, which the, our research has generated. Sometimes, two or three good papers, which influences the policy or lives of large people, that is a much better than kisi ne 200 paper likhe. So, real world impact is a very important, and we have to fix on that. Fourth one is building trust. Now, I have written high risk, high award ideas. So, for this, the researcher has to work for 8 to 10 years to develop that confidence among funders that I will give 100 crore ka project to this. This can be failed, but if but if this succeeds, the idea succeeds and the work goes on, it will be transformative. Now, for this, a trust has to be one with funding agencies, with the institution and with the overall ecosystem. And that's why sometimes I'm sure faculty members must be discussing that he has two page proposal and he has given crore funding se, DST, se, DBT. It is that trust which you build that the funders are ready to invest. It's, you, you must have heard about uh, 
what do we call as uh, investors uh, and these investors funding agencies are also invest society is also investor and they start investing where they see a bright eye and finally the collaboration and entrepreneurship i was very pleased and looking at and seeing the presence of director of iit jodhpur being present as one of the honored guest in the morning it's a it's a very welcome uh, issue and i this and during again discussion i found that a product has been uh, patented and a, a product developed as a innovation between iit jodhpur and aims uh, jodhpur now this collaboration and entrepreneurship is absolutely necessary and again i'll talk a little more about this so let me talk about research ecosystem what is required for research ecosystem now this is based on data collected from across the country in 37 institutions and the necessary factors which faculty members or the scientists want is intellectual freedom a healthy competitive environment a ecosystem that respects research now and functional grant management system which was mentioned that jodhpur has established a grant system and uh, tanuj mentioned it very elo uh, eloquently and in detail now here you see money ka kahin pe paisa nahi aa raha the necessary factors are intellectual freedom कॉम्पिटिटिव एनवायरमेंट इको सिस्टम दैट रिस्पेक्ट कई बार हम कहते हैं यार ये फ्रॉडी आदमी है ये सारा टाइम रिसर्च करता है पता नहीं काम और कुछ करता नहीं है वी यूज वेरी लूज वर्ड्स फॉर अवर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स समटाइम्स हु आर डीपली पैशनेटली इन्वॉल्व एंड ग्रांड सिस्टम आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन द अदर कंपोनेंट इज द सफिशेंट फैक्टर्स विच मीन्स रिसर्च फ्रेंडली गवर्नेंस सिस्टम एच आर एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव प्रोसेसेस up all those who are managing projects you you understand then audits ethics um, uh, infrastructure access to modern data analysis tools but and you find that isme paisa kahi nahi aa raha it is that ecosystem jiski main baat kar raha hu the word and that requires these components and where institution has a very important component the primary responsibility lies with institutional authorities and policy making bodies whether it is at the higher central level state level or institution is obviously the most important which creates that ecosystem and this research leaders can at best influence their functioning they can improve it they can help in facilitating it and when we looked at uh, in further detail the most important thing a researcher wants is autonomy to investigate uh, to investigator the freedom to pursue research and opportunity to collaborate when i write 4 plus this is qualitative which means most of the investigators said that 2 to 3 plus is majority or most uh, uh, a majority of that and <coughs> at aims new new delhi there is a rule that if head of department does not forward your letter or request for Uh, for uh, 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 your research proposal in 48 hours it is deemed forwarded many times uh, these challenges occur within the department i hope institution like jodhpur also brings in that kind of a system where the person a junior faculty is not just at the mercy of the head of department i don't mean in discipline but many times there are issues of that kind and therefore this freedom autonomy intellectual freedom is very important encouragement for research in various forms culture of excellence it is again something that it requires the excellence is not by this default it is by design and it's a constant feature that means constantly somebody is pushing you to see that the quality of the research is at the highest level grant management system i will not go into Uh, greater details because i understand jodhpur already has but a dedicated research cell for managing research grant finance management and administration and hr support for hiring for seeing that their salaries are at per as per the guidelines there are uh, the money is available at uh, whenever is required and institution is ready to support uh, the 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 process now 
the other issues are mentoring and capacity building and i must say that many times when we become faculty mere ko lagta hai ab seekhne ki koi zarurat nahi ab to main faculty hu but i think most of the younger faculty do need hand holding and mentoring and learning refining sharpening their research skills and it is very important and that also needs mentoring so it is no harm that if our senior faculty members within the institutions or outside help in hand holding and doing the mentoring communication across hierarchy there should be no barrier laboratory facilities and shared resources is a very efficient way i understand lot of institutions are using it and it is ethical and regulatory review it has to be very uh, uh, it should be done as per the law of the land and we should respect it and additional issue is sometimes i do not know most of the indian institutions don't have that there is there is a group of people one or two people who do scanning for request for proposals many times in our busy schedules whether clinical or our laboratory or teaching schedules we are not able to see what are the new opportunities coming if institution has a dedic within the uh, within the research cell one person who is looking at across the board <coughs> across the board uh, ish, uh, environmental scan both national as well as international that what are the opportunities for funding and then accordingly the respected departments and the individuals who are interested can be informed that if you are interested so i do not know recently icmr had re spate of implementation research rfps there is another rfp at the moment i, I do not know how many of you have seen clinicians or uh, public health people similarly dbt dst within the country and then internationally nih welcome trust there are huge number of gates foundation they have rfps there are lot of uh, philanthropies within india who are floating rfps but there if there is a dedicated uh, system that is very helpful now research management cell uh, again pre award that means when you are applying and then post award after you have applied lot of support is required administrative most of the scientists are very wary of doing any of these things and if there is a good support available it is extremely helpful now mentoring is something most of uh, most of the uh, faculty members feel that this is a very important common academic empowerment and this includes putting extra effort uh, in the morning uh, somebody was saying that uh, uh, yes sanjeev was telling us about their professor that those uh, of uh, students of a particular character characteristics to uh, uh, the 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 sports persons the surgeon uh, the his uh, the, the, this teacher would made all out effort to see that along with the sport the person also becomes a very deft surgeon as well so extra effort is required provided you see that spark in the student identifying sporting talent their strengths and weaknesses and just now just like in our own children many times we should not consider our students as our children but we should allow them to make some mistakes if they make mistakes but we still see some brighter spots please do not be uh, uh, upset on that giving opportunities to external exposures opportunities to write papers publications and then there are arranging fellowships scholarships in efforts to improve communication and exposure to undertake administrative and kai bar hum hamara teacher humse kehta hai ji meri slide bana do kya hai mere ko begari ka kaam deta hai actually if your teacher is asking if your mentor is asking for you to do ki zara store ki dekhbhal kar lijiye zara meri slides bana dijiye mere ko kal lecture dena hai he is actually mentoring you he, it is not that the person cannot do it it's himself or herself so many times we do not understand what my mentor is asking for now for ensuring high quality of work if you look at the last one is creating culture of uh, uh, quality but encouragement and motivation and constant observation feedback and quality assessment 
is important. Many times it happens that when we get a good researcher, we stop monitoring that person and you find after six months, it has the kula kar diya. It has, the person has damaged a lot. So never do that. It is not a question of having trust and faith. It is a, all of us require constant monitoring. It's a very important and constant auditing is a very important and it is a way of nurturing and mentoring uh, our younger people also. The other is how do young faculty members choose their agenda, research agenda. And if you look at this, uh, policy driven, a lot of people go aligned to local priorities and national priorities. But then people look at other things also. Majority of uh, 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 the researchers choose areas which are personal interest and there is a harmonization with local and national priorities. But I would say be more strategic. Just see that you are tackling local and national uh, research challenges or health challenges and whatever you are doing, even basic scientists, if they keep that in mind, that would be something worthwhile. So this, we uh, compared 39 institutions which were leading uh, health research and there were only four we uh, could not get more and we find there is a consistently provide financial support to attend meetings workshop uh, access to modern data analysis tools functional and designated self for grant managing auditing research grants and system for doing environmental search now these are issues which are linked with good high research output institutions we talked to the deans also. And deans also came up because research dean is, uh, uh, is, has the responsibility. And again, they feel that these are the facilitating factors, starting from infrastructure, but creating the other issues. And intellectual freedom, institutional ecosystem respects research and competitive environment. Again, even deans understand that. So we need to look at it. Many times we do understand, but I think we, there has to be, there is a process called nexus planning that the faculty and the policymakers at the institution sit together and say, Ki, how, what do you want from us? And I think from that discussion, you can come up and negotiate, which is administratively okay, but a facilitatory environment is created in the process. Now, this is something which our institutions need to do it. In NIH, the, they, are, they have a budget of, I think, $40 billion per annum or something. Uh, and they come up with all kinds of Nobel laureates and everything. The, some of the best research keeps on coming. The important point is that they bring researchers, industry together, universities together, startups on the same platform. And this is something which I think our universities and institutions need to take up. We do not look at this dimension. There is some step movement that we have started working with IIT or with IIM or uh, with uh, uh, some of the other institutions, but I think we should not be wary of talking to industry. Because if we want to translate our products, this needs uh, this kind of a facilitatory, a broker's role, yeah, arranged marriage, which we call in our Sanskrit, that how do you get the families of the two and three? Many times, we do not know each other. And institutions can play a very important role in this. Collaboration. Now, collaboration is not... This is very easy to say. If you have two brothers and one sister, then you can also be angry. If you have a problem with your brothers, then there is no new thing. How do we collaborate? What is the benefit of collaboration? Benefit of collaboration is most say that it brings complementary skills and resources, improved quality, opportunity for multicentric study, national, international. So it brings in a lot of positive. Half of them felt that exposure to diverse settings, mutual professional growth and capacity building, alignment of research interest and ability to work. साथ काम करना आसान नहीं होता है। हम देखते हैं मियाबीबी भी आपस में आसानी से काम नहीं करते। 
अलग अलग डिपार्टमेंट में रहेंगे सो कोलेबरेशन इज नॉट एजी टास्क वी थिंक टीम्स बनाना आसान है कोलेबरेट करना आसान है नो इट्स इट रिक्वायर्स वेरी स्पेशल एफर्ट एंड ओवर द टाइम यू डेवलप दैट स्किल एंड पेशेंस और मर्सरीज बेंड के पैसे आप क्यों देते हैं उनके जो स्प्रिंग्स होते हैं वो बेहतर होते हैं एज कंपेयर टू बुलेरो में बैठी है वो स्प्रिंग्स आपको बेहतर बनाने पड़ते हैं फॉर कोलेबरेशन एंड द अदर थिंग इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट साइंस इज फॉर सोशल societal good that's very important and collaboration when when the common goal is for societal good it becomes easier now challenge is faced by researchers so i will as you can see majority of them face work life balance sham ko ghar pe sauda lene ke liye aapke paas time nahi hota hai bachcho ke sath if you are really passionate about it very difficult to have research uh, sci- uh, work life balance Similarly, project execution, but collaboration में सबसे ज्यादा तकलीफ होती है अपनी हस्ती को मिटाना पड़ता है कोलेबरेशन इज नॉट ईजी सो वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस देर आर लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज फाइनेंशियल वेल बींग एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सोशलाइजेशन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा प्रोजेक्ट एग्जीक्यूशन ऑल्सो गेटिंग स्टाफ टाइम लैग फंड रिलीज नो प्रोटेक्टेड टाइम यू हैव टू इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स यू हैव टू वर्क फॉर फोर्टी एट आवर्स काइंड ऑफ थिंग नो ग्रांड मैन सो ऑल दिस but in collaboration unequal partnership and trust deficit is very common it is not easy whether it is within india or with this with international collaborations and <clears throat> the other issues are mutual respect scientific interest administrative hurdles differences in capacity collaborator control many times you must have feel i am sure That international collaborators who bring money, NIH एच वाला होगा जो उधर वाला होगा वो कहेगा यार मैं पैसे ला रहा हूं तुम सैंपल कलेक्ट करते रहो मेरे लिए नाउ दिस इज वेरी कॉमन एंड दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू नेगोशिएट दैट एंड सिमिलरली वेन वी टॉक टू द इंटरनेशनल वी स्पोक टू फाइव इंटरनेशनल रिसर्चर्स हुआ बीन वर्किंग दे हैड देयर ओन प्रॉब्लम दे वर वेन दे वर लुकिंग फॉर इंडियन इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स दे वर लुकिंग फॉर इंडिविजुअल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हु हैड इंटीग्रिटी ऑनेस्टी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा commitment to research they will find out about you from various sources and uh, various conversations and meetings you find international collaboration is not easy similarly within india also but they also say that they have difficulties whether it is authorship issues and um, issues related to the communication within institution there are administrative issues so there are problems uh, on both the sides and therefore when we are entering into international collaboration i think the mou has to be signed very carefully please take the advice of your seniors the financial advisor the administrator and if as when required with dean and directors because many times things written in small words later on land you up suddenly you feel ki yaar main kaun hu isme i am almost like a servant here so please be very careful when you are signing mous uh, particularly the international mous so what we have seen that this is a f- inductively derived f- uh, a framework for leadership in health research in india that there are personal attributes everybody cannot be uh, a very good researcher they can be uh, they can provide service but they may not be very good they can but that's fine out but institution and societal research ecosystem which i talked about is important then they have to learn research management and execution which means they have to be learning team building and mentoring handling challenging situations and all kinds of challenges come up just like in other aspects of life even in research risk mitigation how do you work on that then self view and peer perception हमें लगता है कि हम सबसे बढ़िया व्यक्ति हैं एंड एवरीबडी शुड टॉक गुड अबाउट मी बट ऐसा होता नहीं है वेन यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सडनली लॉर्ड ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स विल क्रॉप अप एंड हु विल से थिंग्स विच आर इनिमिकल टू यू एंड टू योर पर्सनैलिटी समबडी विल टॉक इन अबाउट योर इंटीग्रिटी डोंट गेट डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय दैट दिस सेल्फ व्यू एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड लिंक्ड विद दिस इज वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस एथिक्स एंड इंटीग्रिटी एंड सेल्फ व्यू एंड पियर परसेप्शन again so for those who do extremely well in one area 
you will suddenly find it is i i think it's a but many of us do not accept it please accept that that everybody will not talk very good about you but it doesn't mean that you be combative with everybody and the third is engagement and collaboration which i talked about it uh, is uh, issue of uh, collaborating with your academic partners your funding partners and ensuring advocacy and translation of research now some of the examples it was being mentioned and i thought i will in the passing mention some of the things like patient records and clinical research now as i understand all aims are going in for abha id all your patients have abha id and their records are being digitalized so if my record quality is good i can be very efficient i can use this data it was mentioned by the director iit that huge amount of data is produced and we can use this data for uh, a new variable we can in fact a one of the good example is that this monoclonal antibody trastuzumab a revolutionary new treatment for breast cancer basically came from looking at uh, data available and some of the samples already lying medical errors are picked up a causal linkage be between nursing shortage and patient health outcomes you can look at these are various research i just picked up some examples and similarly uh, you can look at uh, access issues your uh, institution versus your outreach program the other component is this big data analytics and artificial intelligence again the quality of data is very important and uh, i must tell you that for covid 19 outbreaks containment lot of work has been done within this country and decisions were being made on a daily basis on the basis of how to move forward in what area what decisions are to be taken and uh, i'm sure most of us are aware there are data like nfhs and uh, uh the other uh, databases are there we can really look at that and use uh, big data analytic principles this issue of diversity equity and inclusion is always a issue with medical science and we need to look at it and see how we can work on to that i was dis uh, discussing with uh, the the head of pediatrics and he was saying that uh, for rare disorders the currently the therapy cost 50 lakh rupees 30 lakhs government gives up to 50 lakhs but for only one year or two year you can give the therapy and i was saying that this requires that we indigenize after all these international companies are making money because they have got a particular they are able to produce enzymes or monoclonals or whatever it is i think if we focus it what where we spend at 50 lakhs probably it may just cost a lakh of rupee per year or something like that india has shown i am i do not know mrna vaccine which pfizer was selling at 21 dollars the indian vaccine the company was ready uh, is uh, ready to uh, sell it for 2 and 1/2 dollars to the government of india fortunately the covid pandemic is finished and the indian mrna is much better it can be stored at 2 to 8 degree it is given intradermally that means without needles so i think with our bright mind sitting here i think we can achieve the the impossible and this is uh, i was uh, reviewing uh, some of the uh, uh, a, uh, the award for a, uh, a national award for basic science uh, just last week and i picked up some of the examples it is not for uh, anything else but uh, basic science also has to be linked to a clinical outcome a public health outcome a societal good this is very important so whatever i am doing i should always think wo oh, ye nahi ki ye mere ko maza lene ke liye khali karna hai maza lene ke sath sath it should have a societal outcome it should have a, a impact where it affects either policies or programs ultimately population health so i started with five challenges i spoke about two a supportive ecosystem and nurturing collaboration and entrepreneurship but we still need to work on focusing on positive balance between basic science clinical science public health policy issues evaluation systems have to really be changed immediately and this building this trust 
this requires a lot of time. You have to spend uh, uh, kind of a focused manner uh, for at least eight to ten years before funding agencies, the society, the आपके फैमिली भी आपके पिता भी आप पे इन्वेस्ट तब करते हैं जब आप उनको भरोसा हो जाता है कि ये लड़का किसी काम का है या ये लड़की मेरे को रिटर्न देगी सो द सेम वे सोसाइटी आल्सो वर्क्स इन द सेम मैनर सो आई विल एंड दैट डिस्ट्रक्टिव एंड इनोवेटिव रिसर्च रिक्वायर्स इंस्टीट्यूशनल सपोर्ट एंड फैकल्टी लीडरशिप हाउ आई वुड ऑल्सो से आई विल रीड आउट दिस स्वस्मे स्वल्पम समाजाय सर्वस्यम which means research is a little bit for yourself it will give you identity it will give you recognition but everything is for a larger societal good thank you very much